Question, the member from Niagara West, Glambrook. Thank you, Speaker. Question to the Minister of Health. Minister, I want to update you on uh, the tragic story of Andrew uh, Lenice, an 11-year-old boy in Font Hill who suffers from Hunter syndrome, and I do appreciate your personal attention in the past this matter. His family has privately paid for LF Prey's treatment since August at the cost of $6,000 per week. Minister, the results since August are remarkable. For the first time since he was stricken with Hunter syndrome, Andrew can hold a toy in his hands. He can now walk unassisted about 80 feet away from his wheelchair without taking a break, where he could, he could barely manage 20 feet before. Minister, when their funds run out in a few weeks, the remarkable progress Andrew has made over the past five months will be lost. Question. Minister, will you fund Ella Prey's treatment for Andrew Linnies? Sure. Speaker, first, first of all, I want to um, thank the member for the question. He has uh, advocated with me before on behalf of Andrew and behalf of his family, and uh, I, I know we are working to, uh, to uh, uh, resolve uh, Andrew's situation, so I, I certainly do want to acknowledge that. Uh, I also want to, if I could, through you, Speaker, uh, directly to Andrew and to his family, I certainly do understand uh, the circumstances um, and, and the difficulty that this does have for families, and I do want to take this opportunity to express my very deepest sympathies and my thoughts with them. I'd like to share with, uh, with you, Speaker, that all of our drug funding decisions mu must be made through an informed decision-making uh, uh, based on the analysis of scientific evidence and on cost-effectiveness. Recently, the Ministry has publicly communicated that we are working on a new approach for drugs for rare diseases, and we do intend to share it. In fact, uh, Speaker, Canada is one of the very few countries in the world which does not have such a program on... Supplementary. <coughs> Well, I appreciate the Minister's uh, uh, response and the tone of it. Uh, I think, as the Minister knows, uh, the Ministry of Health is currently funding treatment for two Ontario residents afflicted with Hunter syndrome, yet Andrew was recently denied again. Uh, the only difference between those who are funded and young Andrew is that he has sadly suffered neurological trauma. In short, he has brain damage. But it doesn't make him any less human. His suffering is no less painful or tragic, in fact, more so. If you witness the progress Andrew has made, you could not deny he is making significant progress from this treatment. His parents are seeing laughing and giggling again for the first time in years. Minister, you, you can't draw the line at Andrew Lanise. Will you make every effort to ensure he gets that funding? Mr. Speaker, well, well, I, well, I do acknowledge, well, I do acknowledge that not every case will be funded. There will be instances when, after reviewing the relevant documentation, that the executive officer uh, and and the committee which has been struck uh, will uh, will have to uh, regrettably deny funding. However, Speaker, funding for rare diseases must be con must continue to be reviewed on a case by case basis. We must ensure that patients will be likely to benefit from a slowing in the progression of the disease, if not a reversal of the disease. Speaker, that's why we have taken the steps to institute this kind of a review and this kind of a process so that individual Ontario patients can be reviewed and the individual circumstances they face can be reviewed by the executive officer and by experts. And I, I have, uh, as I said earlier, have worked with the member and have worked uh, and we will continue to work to see what can be done. I cannot give the undertaking that it will be funded, but the, the process that it was reviewed. New question, the member from Nickel Belt. 